This is a training video on residential roof ventilation for the San Diego North Zone Training Group. This video covers information in accordance with the North Zone Training Manual, Section 600. For more information, refer to the North Zone Manual in your agency-specific training division. In this video, we will cover the following. Proper tools and PPE. Head cuts. A five cut center rafter louver. Extending the cut with construction. Cutting from a roof ladder. And cutting on non panelized roof construction. Prior to residential roof operations, firefighters should ensure that they have the proper tools and PPE. This includes full structural PPE, a sounding tool, preferably a rubbish hook, a tick and a light, radios, an SCBA, and a chainsaw. There are three acceptable head cut techniques. Refer to your agency's training division for specific preference. In technique number one, the sawyer will make his back cut with the top of the bar. Notice how the Sawyer enters at a 45 degree angle and then holds the saw vertical, going back towards the first rafter. The Sawyer then changes direction, rolls the second rafter, and stops at the third rafter, completing the head cut. In technique two, the Sawyer will make the cut with the bottom of the bar. The ID cut is finished when the Sawyer finds the first rafter. The Sawyer then withdraws the saw and reverses it. In technique number three, the Sawyer does not make an away ID cut. The Sawyer cuts forward, and when the first rafter is located, it is rolled. The cut sequence for rafters two and three is the same as in previous techniques. The sounder works the way onto the roof. Sawyer follows chainsaw running break on. The sounder feels for structural members and ensures roof stability. Notice that while traversing the roof, the sounder sounds in front of himself and not directly downwards. Also make note that the rubbish hook is being used with the handle and the sounder is using the pointed corner of the back of the rubbish hook to get a better feel for structural members. The sounder attempts to feel the rafters in the area where the hole will be cut and indicates to the Sawyer. Ventilation crews should communicate with interior crews. The sounder then sounds down and the Sawyer comes up. The sounder does not grab the Sawyer and they work in sync without stepping in the hole and avoiding crossbody cuts. The Sawyer's first cut is the ID cut. The Sawyer then finishes the head cut, working away from egress. As the Sawyer moves against construction, the saw is held vertical and just enough bar depth to feel the rafter, but not so deep as to go beyond the rafter. Next, the Sawyer makes a parallel cut on the non-egress side. The bar depth only needs to be enough to cut through all roofing materials. Coming down approximately 4 feet, the Sawyer then makes a bottom cut, working towards egress and rolling the middle rafter. This forms a seat pointing towards egress. The fifth cut is a parallel cut, egress side, and as with all cuts, the corners should be crossed. Once finished, the Sawyer places the chain brake on. The finished vent hole should be a minimum 4x4. Next, the sounder and the Sawyer switch spots, and as always, the sounder sounds in the path of travel. Ventilation crews should communicate with interior crews prior to punching through the hole. The sounder will then louver the hole and proceed to punch through the ceiling. Notice that the sounder turns the rubbish hook around and holds it by the working end. This is to avoid the hooks from being caught on wiring, plumbing, insulation, and other materials. Once complete, communicate with interior crews to ensure proper lift and relief. With success, the sounder leads the way off the roof, Sawyer following.
Interior conditions, roof construction, or hole size may dictate the need for an extended cut. A second cut can be made parallel to the original hole, or the existing hole can be extended downward with construction. When extending downward, no head cut takes place. First, make a parallel cut on the non-egress side. All saw handling and safety techniques are the same as in the 5 cut center raptor louver. After the parallel cut is complete, make the bottom cut. Watch the sounder and notice he is holding the rubbish hook with the hooks down behind him. This gives him an indication of the edge of the roof line. The final cut is a parallel cut on the egress side. As always, to ensure safety, communicate with interior crews prior to punching through. Confirm success and exit the roof safely. When needed, roof ladders provide additional safety while ventilating on pitched roofs. Using proper sounding techniques, firefighters enter the roof using the roof ladder for additional safety. In the video, pay close attention to the firefighter's foot placement as they ascend. Also, make note that the chainsaw is being carried on the inside with the bar facing back. Once the area where the hole will be cut is identified, a tool swap takes place. The sounding tool is handed off, always on the outside. Next, the firefighter needs a foothold. Here, the firefighter uses the pick-headed axe. With the axe head secured, the handle should be rotated downward, as shown. Another option is for the firefighters to use a rubbish hook. After the tool swap takes place, the second firefighter places a tine from the rubbish hook into the roof. He then uses his foot to support the rubbish hook as the sawyer steps out. The swap of the chainsaw will always be on the inside, body first, chain break on. The five cut sequence is the same. An ID cut to find the first rafter, making sure not to cut into the ladder. The head cut, which is towards the fire, rolling the middle rafter and stopping inside the third. The fire side parallel cut, ensuring the corners are crossed with the head cut. The bottom cut, rolling the middle rafter, stopping at the first, ensuring you don't cut into the ladder and the parallel cut on fire side. Once the cut is complete, the tool swap takes place in the same fashion, opposite order. With the chain break on, the chainsaw is handed back on the inside with the chainsaw body first. The sounding tool is handed up on the outside. The hole is louvered and once again communication takes place prior to punching through the ceiling. The ceiling is punched through using the same technique as shown before, holding it by the working end and using the handle to punch through the ceiling. Communicate with interior crews to confirm success and exit the roof. Notice the tool swap. Saw on the inside, rubbish hook on the outside. firefighters sound their way off the roof. For non-panelized roofs, including roofs with diagonal or tongue and groove sheeting, firefighters will sound their way onto the roof. The sawyer will make a head cut away from egress and towards the fire. The sawyer will roll three to four rafters along the ridge.
Next, the sawyer will perform dice cuts between rafters. The bottom cut as shown is optional as you will be pulling decking material rather than louvering. Also, ensure when working against construction that rafters are being rolled and not cut through. With the cut complete, the sounder will pull up the boards to open the hole. Once open, the crew will punch through the ceiling. All safety techniques and communication standards will remain the same. This concludes the video on residential roof ventilation. Thank you for watching. Consult your crews, the North Zone Training Manual, and your training division for more specifics. And remember, train often and train right.